Hi folks, Tracy Sheen, the Digital Guide here, back with your daily digital tip number 37. Today I want to chat about virtual backgrounds in Zoom. You may have seen on calls recently that people have a whole lot of crazy different backgrounds going on. You can upload a virtual background, it can be an image or there's a bunch of people creating virtual Zoom backgrounds right now. So the first thing you need to do is go into the back end of your Zoom account and make sure that virtual background has been uh, set to on. Now that's just in your settings and then in meeting advanced and scroll down till you see virtual background. Once you've done that, you can go into your actual Zoom account and you'll see there that virtual background is an option. Now you can either, if you have a green screen, you can click on green screen and that might have your own banner behind you then or you can add a background of your choosing and you'll see on the little screen there, I'm now in front of the Golden Great Bridge. Now the little plus button allows you to add images or videos. If you Google um, virtual Zoom backgrounds right now, you'll see that there are a bunch that have been uploaded, everything from Star Wars to Disney to um, uh, parks and wildlife in the US through to uh, Renaissance Italy, a bunch of different ones that have been uploaded. Now, something to bear in mind, if your internet connection is weak, uh, or if you have some other issues going on with your Wi-Fi at home, you could find that when you turn around or spin or do things uh, in virtual world, you'll lose half a head or you maybe go, you may turn all blue or so just bear in mind, do a bit of a test with it first, nothing worse than getting on to a you know, professional meeting and then finding that you turn into the blue man or you know, you keep losing half a head every time you turn around. So just make sure that your network speed is able to handle the virtual background. But, you know, they can be fun to play around with. This one, uh, the, the space is prone to kind of lose people. So just have a bit of a play with them before you commit to any of the virtual backgrounds. But they can be a bit of fun. So have fun with it. Zoom virtual backgrounds, that's how you get them set up. That's how you connect it onto your Zoom account. That's it for today. I will see you tomorrow with our next daily digital tip. Take care.